Hey guys, doing my first review of the day again. It's on the Epic Dragon Battle, as I promised. And here is the box. The large box. Let's see, um, set 9450, Epic Dragon Battle. Uh, 915 uh, pieces. And retails for 120 bucks. So let's start off with the minifigures. Here is Sensei Wu. Um... I'm going to give you a comparison with the old one. I got this one in the spinner. Okay, so I'm going to use my turntables. Uh, I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, use my turntables to show you them. So, here is a frontal view, side view, back view. As you can see, there is some kind of dragon design on the new figures back other side view and back to frontal view so let me just take off both their hats so you can see their face they're pretty much the same but if you take off uh, their head their heads I can get this off you can see they have a completely different torso and leg printing right there. So, just gonna flip them around again. Uh, like that. Okay. So, let me just fix them again. Okay, so there's that comparison. Here is the new J figure, and you just remove his headpiece like that. You can see his face, no the upside face. Comes with the kunai thing, and you can remove um, the armor piece to reveal some back printing on him. Okay, so there's, oops, so there was J, and here is the Green Ninja, also known as Lloyd Garmadon. Gonna remove his head piece, and he does have a double side face, and you can store a sword on this, on both sides. Same with J's armor piece. Um, so, you can just see the back printing right there. By the way, I am doing this review in my newest review studio. As you can see, the white background. So, there's another look at him. And there's Lo Lloyd. Here is one of the um, leaders of the Serpentine. Uh, the Constrict Eye Leader. Um, forgot his name. Let me just check. It's Skaldor. So he has this double side axe. Very nice. There, his headpiece is fully removable. Uh, let me just do that. And you can see more of his torso printing and back printing. Here is Cho Khan, and he is a member of the Constrictor. Comes with his spike ball thing, and this cool headpiece, uh, front and torso printing, and back printing. Here is the leader of the Venomari tribe, um, Asidicus. He comes with one of the fang blades, one of the four fang blades. Okay. He has some front printing, back printing, and his headpiece is also removable. Okay. So there's a Sidicus for you. Here is the last figure L Lord Garmadon. He comes with the four golden weapons, which are later to be combined. 
Uh, sorry about that. I did it out of camera. Okay. So there's him. He has the sight the quakes, the nunchucks of lightning, the shurikens of ice, and the sword of fire. And um, I did get an extra sword of fire in the set for some reason. Don't know why. That's supposed to be in every box, but it happened to me. And you do get one of these nice, useful brick separators in this set. Okay, so let's start off with the Great Devourer. There is him or it. His mouth does open. These things are posable. Like that. Okay. And then, um... You can fit a figure in there. You stick it in there. And the ninja has been eaten, or you could say captured. That's what it says in the box, capture the ninja. So, there's that feature. The Great Devourer does indeed stand up. Like here. It does stand up very well with this new design. Okay. It is posable and stuff. Right here. Just movable. Okay. So there is that. Here is the jail cell you get. Okay. So you could just... Uh, there's this red spider in here. You flip this up. You're supposed to put Sensei Wu in there. It's a nice... Not very nice, but snug fit. So it's a bit hard to... Put him in there with the cane, so just remove that so he is defenseless. And okay, that is that isn't working apparently, somehow, for some reason. Okay, so there's that. Let's close it, and he is captured. Um, this bridge does move up and down. Some venom dripping down detail right here. Right there. Okay. These um, swords for decoration. On the back, you do see this trash can right here. It has some um, studs that are supposed to represent acid. When you pour this down, it goes into Sensei Wu's cell. And I guess like the acid like dissolves him or something and there's this extra jail cell here where you can fit, fit one figure in here I'm gonna, again I'm going to use J right there and he is captured sort of okay so here's the last part of the set the most anticipated part the Epic Dragon. Okay. Just move all that out of the way. Okay. So here it takes center stage. It has all four of the dragon heads. Fire, um, ice, earth, and lightning. Um, so right here, you get one of these green balls. I just put another one because I got an extra from the Earth Dragon Defense set. Um, these two, uh, these two dragons cannot hold the, uh, cannot shoot the balls out of their mouth. Only these two can, for some reason. Like I said, do that. Here, you can fit the green ninja. It's a bit hard. You just do this. Stick him on there. And stick him on there. But it's very hard to do it, so I cannot show you in this video. But you kind of get the point. I prefer not to since it just looks good. And here is the main feature of the set. You bring him up, pull this thing, and his wings expand like so. Like that. Okay. And in the back, he does have a swinging tail. You can, there isn't really anything to swing it, you just swing it around. His legs, of course, are posable. As all the other dragons. Okay. So that's about it for this review. Um, uh, definitely give the set um, a buy it since 
it's overall a great set. You're gonna gain value over time. And great recommendation for any LEGO fan. So see you in my next video. And yeah.